Man, we've been waiting 24 years for the NLCS. Been rooting for them all this time. It's the best day of our lives, the best week. Ah, I'm ready. We're all ready. Friar Fever is hot in America's finest city. The Padres are just hours away from hosting their first National League Champion Series game of the millennium. Game one against the Phillies starts just in about five hours from right now. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Heather Myers. And I'm Nettie E. Rampour. Yeah, mere years and years of not making it this far now built up to this exciting moment. The city is feeling it. People have described it as electric all throughout downtown. We have team coverage for you. The game on whether you're watching at home or at a local business. So CBSA's Kelly Hesedal is in the Gaslamp Quarter. CBSA's Dana Marie McNichol is in Chula Vista, where fans are getting ready to cheer on the Padres. And now we're going to send it over to CBSA's Marcus Greaves outside Petco Park with a preview of this Game 1. Yeah, thank you guys. Hey, first of all, it's electric out here. I just saw the players go into the garage, and they look ready. They're bumping some really cool music, but hey, the big thing today that I want to really hit on for the Padres is their mentality. And that's because coming into the playoffs against the New York Mets and against the L.A. Dodgers, they weren't the favorites. So they had that underdog mentality that, hey, nobody believes in us, but we believe in ourselves. But now against Philadelphia, not only did the Padres win more games in the regular season, but on top of that, they're the higher seed. So now the mentality might have to shift a little bit. And of course, when I ask the players and when we hear the players say, listen, that mentality, it's not going anywhere. We're still the underdogs in our mind, and we're going to make that very clear. Yeah, I don't think it matters. They're all good teams we're playing, and these guys are playing great right now. So um, got our work cut out for us just as much as we did the last couple of series. But we kind of try to more concentrate on what we're, gonna, what we're doing, how, our style of play, and, and kind of go from there. You know, you soak it all in, you enjoy it. Um, you know, and then once that day was, once Saturday was over, uh, you know, focus was on, on, on to the next. Um, you know, we, 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 we got to, you know, stay focused on, on what the real goal is, and it's, it's to bring a uh, championship to the city. And, um, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, any of us are, are losing that, that focus. Yeah, there is a sense of satisfaction, you know, being able to beat the Dodgers and, you know, being here. But um, obviously, this is not the end of the road for us. And, you know, we got more games to play. So that's where my focus is, um, kind of plain and simple. The city's, just by seeing the city and how the city reacted over, especially in 2020, um, you know, I think that was the biggest one when, when we made the postseason. And, you know, we they weren't able to be here. and. You know, we were driving home. We're seeing everyone out on the streets, and they're going crazy. So that was that was that was seeing that was was huge, and they weren't even able to be a part of it. And now here they are. You know, you saw how the weekend was. I mean, this is it's it was it was unbelievable. I mean, what the end, what they what they done and what they bring to the city, and we feed off of that as as a team. So, um, you know, this is this it's been awesome. And I really like the fact that they just said, hey, it's not about the other teams that we're playing. It's about us. And if they can keep that mentality, again, I think it's going to be another jam-packed night at Petco Park. We'll have a lot of talent on both sides. But if the Padres keep that mentality how they have this whole season, or I should say in the playoffs, I think they have a good chance of winning. Yeah, and they have the confidence. Uh, Marcus, forgive my ignorance on this, but I'm so curious when the players go into Petco, I mean, do they just take their own cars? Do they walk on in? How does this work? They're like celebrities in my eyes. I can't imagine how they get to work. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did see him drive in. There was a lot of nice cars pulling up, so okay. I figured that was these guys. I did see Blake Snell again. They were bumping some hip-hop music, so <laughs> you could tell, like I said, that mentality is there. Yeah. These guys are feeling good, and they're playing, they're playing some underdog music. Now, can I repeat some of the music and the lyrics that were being played? <laughs> no, I can't, but you guys know I do know the songs. But, yeah, seeing them drive in, you could tell they looked focused. They weren't really smiling at all either, which is really crazy to me. Okay. It was more just straight face. We're looking down the line. Yes. We got business to handle. They have some yeah. business to take care of and then it's party time after that. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, if that hip hop is going to give them some good confidence, all for that. You gotta have That's the how I show song. up to work every day. <laughs> Don't we all? It works. <laughs> yeah. Marcus, thanks.
Thank you, guys. Sharing that insight there. I was always so curious. How do they get to work? I've seen there's a little, there's a driveway okay. that goes underneath the stadium, and that's where the players are. <laughs> so that's where fans so can just wait patiently that, yeah. for them. Uh, just outside the stadium, I mean, this is what it was like. Gaslamp Quarter, once again, is going to be rocking with the Friar Faithful. So we saw things got a little bit wild down there over the weekend. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal is there to show us how things are looking right now. Kelly? Yeah, that's right. You know, the excitement is building by tonight. The energy is going to be incredible. So we are live right now at the Blind Borough. The doors just opened at 11 a.m. So things are still quiet out here right now. Going to be a much different picture later on tonight. They are hoping for huge crowds tonight. And you can walk anywhere in the gas lamp right now and run into fans. Take a look. It's been a long time coming <laughs> for San Diego fans. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, in, we're just enjoying every game as we can uh, as we get them. We're in our hometown, so we know we, they have the crowd, they have the support, so hopefully they do really well tonight and tomorrow. And check out their little girl Hannah's jersey, so cute. Mom Sharice is even wearing Padres earrings, so they're excited to watch the game tonight to root on the hometown team. Uh, we ran into them as they were checking out the new Padres murals that just went up downtown over the weekend. Uh, one is of Joe Musgrove, the other is the San Diego chicken. So fans are ready to cheer on the Padres. I asked that family you just heard from for predictions on the series, and they were a little hesitant to give any. They don't want to jinx it. Uh, they say they're hoping for a sweep, but they said let's just take it each game one by one stay focused and win the series now of course it's going to be very crowded downtown there are going to be people pre-gaming it here in the gas lamp before heading over to the game so if you're planning on coming down here you want to get here early and i would also recommend taking an uber or a lyft or possibly public transit because parking lots are already advertising fees of 100 dollars so if you do decide to come down here to the blind borough there are lots of uh, different options to choose from uh, when it comes to alcohol now as for parking goes one guy kind of showed up and was like absolutely not I'm not paying hundred dollars another one seemed a little confused and then when he realized it really was going to be a hundred dollar charge he decided to head out and uh, check out another parking lot but uh, definitely take rideshare definitely take public transit if you decide to head down this direction Kelly has it all CBS 8 Kelly thank you by the way you have a secret Mm -hmm. A parking secret. Mm -hmm. What's your? Can we just tell everybody? Well, what the I'm, well, we did last week. Shannon also spilled the beans there, but uh, you can get parking at Horton Plaza. Use the Ace Parking app, so that's far enough away from Petco where you don't have to deal with driving through the crowd. So on a game like this, the whole playoff series, it's best to park farther and walk to your car. Okay. So and that was only fifteen dollars, but if you get it in advance through the app just to confirm your spot, it's twenty bucks. Okay, so that's worth it, right? Because you don't want to pay a hundred dollars to park yes. down there. And I will say, walking out. out of the crowd to get to your car was a lot better than the next night we drove and parked closer and spent an hour in a parking yeah. garage trying to move out of that garage. So, so Ace Parking app and comfortable shoes. Yeah. And you got this. Yes. <laughs> well, let's take you down now to the South Bay, also bringing the energy for today's game. Our Dana Marie McNichols and Chula Vista for that part of our coverage. It's the calm before the storm here in Chula Vista as most fans are getting their perfect shot in front of the Manny Machado mural before the game. Other local businesses are gearing up for those large crowds. We spoke to the owner of Vogue Tavern who cannot wait to get a packed house. When we beat the Dodgers the other day, you know, downtown Chula Vista, 3rd Avenue was electrified. Uh, that energy hasn't gone away. Everyone's coming down every day to see the murals. Everyone's wearing their Padre gear, myself included, and we're looking forward to a fun couple of days. Just feet away from the Vogue Tavern, you'll find the massive Padres mural. I can just feel the excitement and energy building already as it's been a very busy morning in front of the murals as lines have formed to take pictures with the brand new San Diego Goose artwork. These are done by ground floor murals. The artists are San Diego natives. Now we stopped and chatted with some of the locals about what they expect for tonight's game. I think it's going to be a festival atmosphere. It's like a holiday. Every pitch is an event and we're just here for it. And regardless of the outcome, we're so proud of our Padres and come down to Chula Vista at 3rd Avenue and celebrate with us. Well, you might have heard her raspy voice. She says she's recovering from Friday and Saturday's game, which I assume most here in San Diego sounds similar. But of course, we have to keep it going for our Padres. Vogue Tavern still has reservations available, so they are inviting you to come down and enjoy the party. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you from Chula Vista.
And now here is the National League Championship Series schedule. So these are the days you can expect people maybe not to work as much. <laughs> I don't know. This whole week Andre's is fever, kind yes. of a wash. Yeah, game one and two here at Petco Park. First game today, 5 p.m. Second tomorrow at 1.35. Games three and four are in Philadelphia. Game five will also be there if it's needed. If this series gets to a game six and seven, it'll come back here to San Diego. So stay tuned to CBS 8. We'll have all of your Padres coverage.